Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. I'm going to be review, doing, talking about our uh, Karma race here. It's going to be a review and I'm not going to show any of the components or anything. I'm just going to basically talk about my thoughts on the game and <clears throat> what my group uh, thought as well. Uh, first off, um, if you're, it's a very simple and easy game to pick up and play. Um, you had the game is just literally broken down into a couple of phases. The phase first phase is everybody um, at the very beginning of the game. Everyone draws, uh, starting with the first player draws a hand size based on number of players. This game is literally best with three to six players, more or better. Two, it's it's okay as a two player game. I, I would, but I wouldn't recommend it as much because in a two player game you're just gonna be doing back and forth to just each other. And with larger group, it kind of you can team up on a player or whatever. It's more fun that way. Um, so uh, it's broken down in the phases. The first phase, you all get your you're gonna get your um, hand size up to the number. So it's basically the number of players plus two cards. So if it's four players, you're gonna have a hand size of six. Uh, three, it's five cards in your hand. So it scales pretty well with that. It's kind of a nice strategy because the more cards you have in your hand, the more you have to play with, but at the same time, you have to kind of try to develop, figure out what your opponents are going to be doing and try to plan your, your next move accordingly and hope that things go accordingly, which in this game, they don't. Uh, so then the turn phases are broke down. And so at the beginning of your turn, you draw back up to your, the hand size limit. And then the second phase is you play one vehicle from your hand, if you have one that you can play. If you're on the road, you can play any road vehicle. If you're next to a train station or next to a uh, airport, you can play a um, a plane or a train. If uh, <clears throat> or you, if you don't have a vehicle, you can just uh, do nothing and you walk one space. Uh, so because you're all hitchhiking, so. You're, so the turn you're going to, uh, if you play a vehicle card down, then you're allowed to play one karma card. Now, uh, each card and vehicle have a speed and a karma limit. And the speed is how many spaces the vehicle is going to move. And uh, the karma card is how many they can be played on them. So if, it, if it's got a speed of 4 and a karma value of 3, that means the one karma card you play, that means other players can play up to, you know, to, to, uh, can play up two more cards. Now, uh, the limit does not count cards that are placed on top of cards. There's some cards that say maybe played on top of a card. So if you play a card on top of a, a bad card and it cancels it out, then you're still at the, the limit of whatever cards were there originally. So it only counts the cards that aren't placed over on top of each other. So once everyone's the, either A, the karma limit maximum's reached, or everyone passes and no one wants to play any more karma cards, or if, someone, if you play a karma card that says karma rounds ends, then you go to the movement phase, which is you add up the totals and you move up to that many spaces. You don't have to move that many spaces, but you can move up to that spaces. So if you see you want to move three spaces instead of five because there's a train station at three spaces and you want to get the train station, you can do that. If someone moves you, if you move minus 15 spaces or something, you can just move zero and just not move that. You know, unless you want to move back, you know, it's up to you. Um, now, if you have a plane or a train, you keep that vehicle in front of you. Uh, like I said, the planes and trains will stay in play until you reach the next airport or train station. And the, um, some vehicles, if they go, uh, some vehicles can actually ride on the train tracks. So if they ride on the train track, uh, they're... They, you keep the track card because you're, you're on the train tracks. And uh, so it's like, let's you keep that vehicle in front of you. So you may want to do that. So then, until so you get off the road on a turn, you get off, or you end a turn off the uh, railroad tracks, then you keep the vehicle. So once you get off the tracks, that vehicle will go bye bye. Um, and all these cards had different, uh, each vehicle has different abilities. There's some that, like, they have to stop at corners because taxis and our buses had to stop at stop signs. There's all these different vehicles that have different that they play differently, and you're trying to draw cards and say like, "Oh, you draw a card, it's a vehicle." You say, "Okay, I drew a bus." 
okay, so, and then you then you say, well, I want to see what other vehicles like. Then you draw a train. So you're like, okay, I got a bus and a train. And you can start saying, okay, I'm going to draw a couple train cards just to be on the safe side. And then you draw some vehicle cards. And you say, well, maybe my last card I draw will be a uh, plane one in case someone decides they want a plane. So after all, you have all your cards and then once your turn ends, your whatever card you played, you go and the cards that everyone else plays, it goes to the person on your left. Then they take they play their vehicle down and they repeat the steps. So it's like it's not like one of those games where you um, everyone moves all at once. Like some games where everyone you just everyone plays the stuff down and then everyone moves after the results of that. This game is like. You take your turn, you do what you need to do. If your vehicle stays in play, it stays in play. If it doesn't, it gets discarded with the karma cards. So it's a interesting game. You're kind of always changing vehicles or changing the strategy each round. Like, because one minute you're in a tank, and then after that, your tank, you you get ready to tank, and then you, oh, you got a, you're on a motorcycle. So it's like you're just constantly doing that. There's, like, uh, there's a uh, arrow spaces on the board, and if you decide in your movement on it, you don't have to roll the dice to determine which direction you want. But if you decide that you want to risk it and you want to go your full movement, and you, you had to stop on the arrows, you roll the dice and it'll tell you if you go north or north or west, or south or west, whatever direction the arrows tell you you go in and stuff like that. So the board's got multiple paths to get, and some are better than others. You kind of have to look at your cards and try to plan one. But even if you plan a strategy, your, your opponents can hose you like pretty easily. So it's kind of really, it's one of those really funny games. So like, it's the humor's there. The cards got all really humorous things. You just, if you guys have a very fun um, group and like that fun, you'll really enjoy this. Uh, I'd say if you like games like Killer Bunnies, because um, Killer Bunnies is a completely random. This time it's got that com got that random thing in it, and like Killer Bunnies, it has a little bit of strategy, but it all depends what card you're dealt. Uh, if you like stuff like Killer Bunnies, um, that then this you probably might enjoy this game. If you like uh, Smirk and Diggers, uh, Run for Your Life, Candyman, uh, then you might like this one because it's kind of like that where you you know, and you're constantly hosing each other. So if you like games where you have like a little bit of backstabbing in it and just kind of like just have a, you know just a simple game that's kind of fun, I'm really looking forward to Stage Two. To see what the game has, but um, our group really enjoyed it. Um, it's a racing game with some a lot of humor, the, t the flavor text there, and it's really simple to pick up and play. And um, our whole group was having a laugh riot with it because um, it's like I'd be like, okay, my friend gets like, gets on a plane. It's like okay, I pull out the lose an engine, and then the guy's the plane goes down and smokes, and he's stuck having to go to the nearest space backwards, and then next turn it comes around, and it's like, he decides to give my car a flat tire, it's like, crap, now I can't do, you know, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, and, or you do those risky stuff where you give someone a drunk driver, and then they got, like, and they gotta roll dice and determine which, what's gonna happen to them, whether they're gonna, they're gonna end up going going nowhere then you can give there's cards like you can play a speeding ticket on somebody or a breathalyzer test and it's like okay if this guy has a drunk driver with them then you then they, and they can't find a way to cancel it they get their turn ins and stuff so it's got a lot of little cool stuff like that you can do combos with um so yeah i definitely think the game's pretty fun it's it's definitely a beer and pretzel game through and through, and with the right group, it's great. Uh, if you're stick in the mud, I wouldn't recommend it because, or you're you're a person that likes to have games where there's a strategy 100 percent, or games where, because uh, this game definitely lets you have house rules and stuff like that. You can make up house rules. There's an FAQ that's up now, so any questions that came up during that time. But there's always going to be some weird combinations that come up. You just got to house rule it, you know. But it's still fun. I mean, it, it, it's like basically you take the game, you make your own rules if you want. You can change things just to, to make it how you want it. So it's, 
Uh, got a lot of like a lot of legs going for it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what stage two has to offer, whether it's a new another map or stuff to add to the map or whatever. Uh, new cards is always going to be a plus. So if this sounds interesting to you, I will post. Um, sometime this week, I'll post a link and annotations. But I did have a we did have a session of this up. So if you guys want to watch our session, uh, it's also on Board Game Geek and um, my. And so if you don't want to have to search through my videos, find it. Uh, yeah, check out Karma Race. It's pretty cool.